Happy New Year, guys! I traveled to Europe to see my brothers and the scenery there is so beautiful. Everything there made a lot of sense. From the sea to the mountains, the view is just breathtaking. Because of the change of weather, I lost my voice, but it's getting better now. And I'd like to say that they've got beautiful buildings and the decor here in Turkey is definitely my style. A lot of gold, a lot of glam. I'm just loving every single bit of it. Now, after seeing all these beautiful things, I come back home to a basic and neutral space that was screaming my name. Everything here was so plain. I mean, I know it's a bachelor setting, but everything around was just screaming for me to do something to it. And then I decided to go ahead and change the look of this living room under 24 hours. I had a lot to do here in Turkey, so I decided to just give myself that challenge to see how I can accomplish this makeover in 24 hours. I made sure that I got all the supplies that I needed on ground first before I started. And the first thing that I did was to paint this particular wall here black. I know a lot of you out there are scared to use black on the wall, but hey, it's 2023 and you should know that black now is becoming something really popular that everyone uses, either on doors or on the walls. But you should know that the final accent pieces that will be around this wall, or whatever you have painted black, is what's gonna make it pop. Now that I'm done with this side, I'm gonna face the wall next to it. And on that wall, I'm gonna be using a rug. You should know that in Turkey, they have all kinds of rugs and designs, but I got the one that's light in weight. That way I can have it cut easily and put up on the wall. I wanted this to look like a large wall frame. And as you can see, I had it directly on the wall. If you like, you can have this place on a wood first before mounting it on the wall. I had to make borders around the rug with PVC. I'm using PVC because it's smooth and I can have tape over it when I'm done. I was going to go for a typical single frame around it, but I decided to do a second one. I like the way this looks. And then I decided to just go for the third one. Now I'm gonna be having three frames around the rug. The way I added the pieces, of course it's not neat at all, but that is gonna be addressed much later. Now that I have this, I'm going to be adding gold tape around the PVC. You can clearly see where the PVC meets and that is going to be covered with onlays that I will be covering with Mod Podge first before spray painting it gold just to give it more shine. I placed them like this first and then added more pieces on the opposite sides to make them look like squares. I love to make another design with the rugs. So I got wood and little pieces of the rug that I had cut. And these rug pieces are going to be attached in the middle like this. 
Now, this is going to be too plain for me. So what I'm going to do is cover up the sides, or should I say the edges, of the wood piece with gold contact paper. What I'm making is going to emit light at the back. So what I did was to turn it over, add pieces of wood at the back to make it thicker. That way, when I have light around it, it's going to be coming off like a shadow in a beautiful way. After attaching the rug, I decided to just add the wooden onlays to the corners of the rug. I installed a mounting hardware at the back and also attached LED strips around the wood. This is the empty corner where I will be mounting what I just made. I'm gonna be separating the space with the other side of the living room with a strip of wood that has been painted black. One will not be enough here, I made another one. I also added more wooden strips. Now because I wanted this corner to have a unique style, I decided to go ahead to add wallpaper inside to give it something different in the background. I didn't have enough wallpaper, so it freaked me out just a bit, but I realized that I could use the gold contact paper on the sides of the wall on the inside. And guess what? It actually looks pretty like it was part of the plan. Now, after mounting what I made on there, it ended up looking like it was part of the design. Now in the middle, it looked like I had both artwork together, but it separated. And because of the gold contact paper there in the middle, it gave it the perfect finishing. And it was an afterthought when I ran out of wallpaper. I couldn't find a bar card in the store that I went to, so I'm just gonna make do with this one. It looks really pretty with the lights on. And then now that I'm done with this side of the wall, I'm gonna be moving to the TV unit. I'll be installing marble wallpaper on the two ends of this wall. And in the middle, I'm gonna be having wooden strips that have been painted black in the middle. These will be attached to the wall with construction adhesive and nails. The white smudge from the adhesive is going to be taken care of much later. At the end of the strip of wood will be the last drop of marble wallpaper. Instead of 
buying something new. I'm just going to work with what I have. I'm going to be turning this brown here because it doesn't go with anything that I'm working with to gold. And the easiest way to do that is to use gold contact paper. I then change the handle to something much more pretty. The entire unit that had brown there was all covered with gold contact paper, including the tables that came with the unit. To create more space at the top of the unit, I decided to just mount the TV on the wall. I needed something around the corner, so I added this. I'm gonna be adding more items to this living room, like a rug, and a picture frame, and I chose this because it has white, gray, and hints of gold. And this white plant over here is going to make it pop even more. Finally, here's a before and after. Introducing unique pieces that have the same color scheme with what I was working with really made a huge impact to the overall design. Let's not forget that at the middle of the large wall is a rug. It doesn't look like a rug from afar, so that's a catchy thing because of the size and the design as well. I have to say that this cute little space here is what catches the eye more when you walk into the space. I had to add draperies over this because in the day the sun comes in and distracts what you're watching on TV, so this helps a lot. Overall, I'm so happy with the turnout of this space and my brother loves it too as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.